Good evening, Jules fans. Welcome back to Jules and Blood TV. It's Tuesday night. It is nearly six o'clock and it is time for another match day live. This evening, it is Crew Alexander in Kent to take on the Jules. Uh, crew come into the game on the back of a 10-game unbeaten run, but are somewhat draw specialists in that run, similarly to us when we went 15 games without defeat last season. Mika Mandron, our former striker, is only fit enough for the bench. Uh, the Jules team news is in, of course, because we're so close to kick-off. One change from the weekend. So the team in four is Jack Bonham in goal. Ryan Jackson at right back. Connor Ogilvy shifted to left back. Jack Tucker and debutant Robbie Cundy in the centre. Midfield four or three. We're not sure. It could be a diamond. I've lined it up as Callum Slattery at the base of the midfield. Dempsey and O'Connor from the sides. Ollie Lee in the 10. With Jordan Graham right up alongside the Dane Oliver tonight. But invariably it could be a 4-3-3 with O'Connor playing from the left-hand side to give us some more defensive stability. Could even be a 4-4-1-1. Who knows, we'll find out. Could be a 3-5-2 as well. Sub bench for the Jills. No Joe Walsh is the big news again. No reason why yet. Can only imagine it must be something COVID-related. So the six that we do have to call on are Stuart O'Keefe, Robbie McKenzie, Matty Willock, Alex McDonald, Tyreek Johnson and Saturday's draw hero, John Akindi who may feel a little bit harshly left out. But it's a good bench, aside from not having a substitute keeper. So fingers crossed nothing happens to our number one, Jack Bottom. We'll bring you more footage when the game kicks off in around seven minutes. 14 seconds gone here at the Priestfield. Crew have a corner after forcing Jack Bottom into a save immediately from kickoff. Wonderful one-touch football down there, left-hand side, in fairness to them. Results in Jack Bottom saving with his legs. Stay with this corner, which we're going to have to defend. It's gone short. Well, it's really poor. It's just gone to, straight to Ryan Jackson's feet and he's hacked it clear over halfway. Jordan Graham's trying to bring it under control. He's got it now. Looks like he's had his shirt pulled. Jules have earned a free kick all inside the first minute, that is. That's a bit of an early let off and uh, certainly a warning across the bows that we need to be at it from uh, the word go. Four and a half minutes gone, short break in play. It looks like a head injury to Omar Beckel, so the referee's just stopped proceedings to get him looked at. But just looking at the Jules lineup, it does look like a 4 4 2 diamond at the moment. Jordan Graham's operating very central next to the Dane Oliver. So as I had it at the beginning, it looks like it's a middle four of Slattery at the base, Ollie Lee at the point of the diamond, and then Dempsey and O'Connor from the sides. And uh, Ryan Jackson and Connor Overby operating as orthodox fullbacks. Um, imagine that way, then Tommy O'Connor can, can drop out wide and help us out and supplement defence if we are under the cost. But the game's restarted now. Jill's in an attacking position here, so we'll just stay with this. But Dane Oliver's done well on the right, giving it back to Ryan Jackson. He's giving it out to Graham. He's peeled out wide. Good ball into the box. Keepers claimed it. Jill's were claiming a corner that had already gone out. The referee says no. And uh, five minutes gone, still 0-0. Zero, zero. Penalty to the Jules, nine minutes gone. It's a stonewaller for me and it's a great press from Gillingham. Crew desperate to get the ball short to their centre-halves. Been forced to go backwards after Ollie Lee, Callum Slattery and Carl Dempsey all press. Slattery manages to pinch it. Jordan Graham drives into the box. Defender runs through the back of him. Great chance for the Jules to take the lead. It's going to be Jordan Graham from 12 yards. Crew keepers trying to create drama and uh, delay things by saying that the ball's not on the spot. Referee's told it to get on his line. Just book him referee and then it stops it from happening, doesn't it? This is what we say all the time. It's the same with time waste. And if you do it early enough, then, then other pa pa players are not in uh, courage to keep doing it. Just waiting for the whistle now. Here it comes. Jordan Graham, intake of breath. Sends the keeper the wrong way. Jules lead a goal to nil. Clock's just ticked over 10 minutes. Come on. Jules have been good since the goal. The high press is still working. We're not letting crew settle on the ball, not letting them play out from the back, which means they have to go long. And then the likes of Robbie Cundy, Jack Tucker, and particularly Conor Ogle, we were able to gobble up headers all day long. Uh, we've had some good territory. There was another good press, got us into a decent position down our left, resulted in Tommy O'Connor. Uh, not Tommy O'Connor, sorry, Conor Ogilvy whipping a decent enough ball in, which was well defended. 15 minutes play. Jules still lead by a goal to nil. Half chance for crew. They just had another spell last minute or two. Kept the ball really well. Gone from side to side. Worked us. Stretched us. Made us move. And the uh, ball gets cut back. And it resulted in a shot um, left footed that's gone over the top into the rain. I mean, uh, never troubling Jack Bonham. But it's a really good watch. Jules have been really good, to be fair. We've got a proper plan to stop them playing. We know we can't do that exactly all the time. But what we have done is uh, pressed high and stopped them going uh, short to their centre-backs. And it's forced them to go long um, from time to time. In possession, we've got it down and played some good bits. We've also had to go more direct and uh, we've done that well because we can hit the Dane Oliver. And with Jordan Graham being closer to him, it means we can get people running off of him. Uh, yeah, 21 minutes played. So pretty much halfway through this first period. Still 1-0 to the Jules. 
It's going to be Jordan Graham this time. It looks like Tom O'Connor's with him, but Jordan Graham's put the ball down. Oh, he's gone short this time for O'Connor. Then a little cute ball into the box. Ollie Lee tried to bring it under control, but Crew read it and managed to get it clear, and it's gone back over halfway line. Callum Slatter, who started the game really well again. He tidies up and goes back to Jack Bonham. Still 1 0 to the Jills. Chance for the Jills again to go 2 0 up, and it's good football again. We work it from right to left. Then Connor Ogilvy on the angle from left back stands up a good ball. For Dane Oliver challenges, it goes over his head. Carl Dempsey arrives like thunders a header. Keeper pushes it up into the air, and then it's been cleared. Jills still doing their high court press. It's brilliant to watch so far. Crew can't get out. Jills still lead with nearly half hour play. It's another good bit of play from the Jills. It's Ollie Lee starts it off. Little ball outside of the right foot through the channel. Jordan Graham gets there in front of Omar Beckles, supported by Tom O'Connor. Graham goes wide left. He stands up a ball far post. For Dane Oliver meets it full on, but it goes straight to the way keeper. 32 minutes played. Jills playing better football at the moment. Still 1-0. That's the main thing. 2-0 to the Jills. And it's a brilliant goal from Oliver Lee. Ball down our right-hand side after Omar Beckles' pass is cut out. Carl Dempsey gives it to Jordan Graham. Ryan Jackson makes the overlap. Ball comes in from Jordan Graham. First touch from Ollie Lee. Dare I say, it's Dennis burkamp -esque. through the legs of the defender. And he slots it under the oncoming keeper. 35 minutes played. Jill's two, crew nil. Jills are in dreamland. It's 3-0 now, just before the break. Omar Beckles again, guilty of giving the ball away on the edge of his own box. For Dane Oliver into Ollie Lee. Little back heel into the path of Dempsey. Crew have the chance to clear, don't do it. Dempsey pinch it off the fella's toe, slots it into the bottom corner. 3-0 to the Jills. We deserve it. We've been superb to a man. Half time at the Mems Freezefield. It's Gillingham 3. Yes, you heard that right. Do not adjust your sets. Gillingham 3, Crew Alexander nil. Jills thoroughly deserve it as well. And I think it's another example of putting to bed the fact that you need more possession to win football matches. Jills have had 34.4%. It's just come up on the iFollow half-time statistics as if by magic. Crew have had 656 They've had four shots totally. We've had six. We've had five on target. They've only had two. So uh, I know we've all got our own opinions on possession. For me, it's not that important. Anyway, back to the Jills' performance, more importantly. Absolutely superb to a man. Special word to Robbie Cundy. Only arrived yesterday. Slotted in absolutely superbly alongside Jack Tucker's. Won all his headers, won most of his tackles and looks the part. We know it's only 45 minutes, but it's a really promising start. Both fullbacks have been really good tonight. Ryan Jackson, early on, a couple of times they got in down his side, but he's got better and better as the game's gone on. And he makes an excellent decoy run for the third goal, uh, for the second goal. Um, so it's probably one of his best performances for Jules in recent weeks. The midfield three of uh, Slattery, Carl Dempsey and Tommy O'Connor have been absolutely spot on. If Callum Slattery goes and advances the other two, one of them slots in and sits in front and vice versa. And it's been really fluid. Ollie Lee was a little bit quiet early doors, but scored a really good goal. Got better and better after that. Jordan Graham's been a constant threat. For Dane Oliver, wins everything in the air simply, doesn't he? But in terms of a 45 minutes, for me, that's comfortably our best of the entire campaign so far. Key second period has become out. Keep it quiet 15, 20 minutes. And then obviously we can try and pick them off on the break because I'd imagine we're going to settle a little bit. That's that's human nature. But so far, um, can't fault it at all. And it's a real case of so far, so good. Nearly three minutes gone in the second period and crew have come out of the blocks really quickly, which is unex uh, not unexpected at all, is it? Considering they've probably got a rocket from their manager, David Artell, at the break. 3 nil behind and need to... You know, if they fancy getting anything, they've got to score very early. But you'd imagine a lot of it's about pride and... Uh, Putting in a better performance than they did first period. Shot comes in here. Snapshot from the edge of the box. Jack Bonham, though, grabs it uh, safely in what is now driving rain at the priest field. 48 minutes played. Still Jill's free. Crew nil. Huge chance for the away side. It's good football down there. Left-hand side. They're getting behind. It's a good save for Jack Bonham initially with his legs. Rebound comes out to the crew player. Seven yards out. Blazes it over and into the Brian Moore stand. Let off for Jills. Hopefully it'll just wake us up a little bit because we haven't really started this period. Still 3-0. Free kick to Jills. Deep in crew territory. Jordan Graham probably a yard from the touchline. 10 yards from the goal line is going to take it after being bundled over. Rain's getting heavier and heavier. Oh, I'd love to be out in it. Getting absolutely soaked and freezing cold. Here it comes now. Jordan Graham just drifted over the top. Not the greatest delivery from Jordan that time. Still 3-0. If it wasn't game over before, it certainly is now. It's Jill's four, Crew Alexander Neil, Ryan Jackson, long throw from the left hand side, flick from Connor Ogilvy. Ollie Lee arrives in, loops a header over the keeper into the far corner. Jill's four, Crew Neil. 
Throwing for Jules, and it's in pretty much the same place as it was for the goal a couple of minutes ago. It's going to be Ryan Jackson again. Here it comes now. Connor Ogilvy tries to flick it again. It's defended. Ball breaks to the edge of the box, and Crew try to bring it clear. Callum Slatter, he's a bit late with a challenge there. I think that might be a booking for the Jules youngster. Got away with that. That looked like a stonewall yellow card to me. But 64 minutes on the clock. Jules are in absolute control. 20 minutes to go. Jules are playing some really good stuff. Plenty of space in behind now. Obviously, when we pinch the ball, Tommy O'Connor's just driven from left back, giving the ball to uh, Ollie Lee, who in turn tried to find Carl Dempsey. And it's resulted in a throw into Jules. But it's just gone a little bit quiet, which will suit Jules down to the ground with 20 minutes to play. Still 4-0 up. Managing it really well at the moment. Looks like it's five for Gillingham, but the Dane Oliver's been ruled out offside. It looks really harsh on first look. Ball's thrown into the box from the right-hand side by Ryan Jackson. There's a flick on. I think it might be Jack Tucker. Oliver arrives at the far post. Looks like he's run round his marker, but it's been flagged offside. Harsh on the Dane, who probably deserves a goal tonight. He's led the line really well again. Free kick to crew. About 25 yards out or so, left of centre. Not taking a shot. It's a left footed ball into the box. And Robbie Cund, he's done well at the far post. Did it out for a call. I think he's hurt himself. He's collided with the advertising audience at the Brian Moore end. Weather's atrocious. Pitch is really skiddy. And that's what's happened. His momentum has just taken him into the board. But he seems to be getting himself up now. And we've got a corner to defend. Been left footed in, swinging from the far side. Here it comes now. It's a good header clear by Gilles. Can't see who it was. It's pretty murky out there at the moment. Crew have tried to recycle it. It's bounced out over by the tunnel for a goal kick to the Jules. We're into the final 15 minutes. Robbie Cundy has just picked the ball up on the edge of his own box. He's taken three strides forward. Then he's pinged a 70-yard diagonal right onto Ryan Jackson's toe down the right-hand side. Absolutely brilliant for the lad on debut. He's been superb defensively. And now he's starting to show his full repertoire in terms of getting the ball at his feet as well. Jules have got a free kick on the far side. Or is it a throw-in? 78 minutes played. Game's done. It's just be a case now of whether Jules will get a few players on to get a minute. <sighs> Goal for Crew, which is really annoying because Jules deserved a clean sheet tonight. Similarly to the game at Rochdale a few weeks ago. We've been spot on, but we've been caught out a little bit. They break down our right back area. It's a ball into the box. It's, it's not great connection, but it sort of deflects up. And I think it's Chris Porter manages to bundle it in off his head or his face. Consolation for Crew, no more than that. But disappointed from the sense that Jules would have liked a clean sheet, which would have given us two from three. 10 minutes to play, 4-1. Jules have just got a bit sloppy since conceding, which is a little bit annoying. They've had another half chance. I think Jack Bonham's been forced into a block with his legs and then we bundled it clear. Jack Tucker's then just committed a silly foul over by the corner flag in front of the tunnel and it's a free kick to crew, six and a half to play. So in terms of the result, it's not going to mean too much. But Jules just want to get back at it a little bit. It just dropped off in the last five minutes, but... Perhaps understandable. Steve Evans, surprisingly for me, has not made any changes and uh, Jules have put a lot into this performance. Here comes the free kick now, headed clear by Ryan Jackson, I think it was. Cruz are on to recycle it now. Half a block from Ollie Lee in the penalty area, and Connor Ogilvy's managed to dig it out and clear it up to sort of towards halfway. Crew trying to come again, but they've booted it out for a throw in. 84 played now, still Gillingham 4, Crew Alexander 1. Jules looks set to make their first change. It's going to be John Akindi coming on, bless him. He's been stood on the touchline for a good five, ten minutes. He's got his arms crossed, jumping up on the spot. Probably shivering a little bit. He's a big bloke, John, but it's absolutely freezing by the look of things. And they've still not let him on, bless him. Oh, I've jinxed it. Jules have taken the free kick and John Akindi's still not got on. We'll just stay with this. Tommy Connor's got the ball. Callum Slattery now has managed to work it out to the left to Jordan Graham. He's gone wide. Ducks inside. Gets through his man. Tom O'Connor... Oh, and stood on the ball and lost it, unfortunately. He was almost in a good position there, Jules. Crew have tried to come clear with it. Done really well. That's really good football. They approach over halfway now. Still bombing on, to be fair. Crew still trying to have a really go. Jack Tucker's just got to stand his man up here. He's gone to ground. Ball comes back. Shot goes wide. Another shot across the bows for Jules. And another chance for Crew to pull another one back. Like I say, defensively, we've just switched off a little bit. But the game is done. Promise. That change does finally happen now. John Akindi's going to get two and a half minutes plus injury time. It's a straight swap for Dane Oliver, who's been really good again tonight. Won a lot of his aerial battles. He's run the channels really well. He stretched their back three and uh, was only denied by an offside flank from adding for his tally to the season. So a good night's work from Dane Oliver. John Akindi comes on for the final knockings of this game. 
past 11's time means substitution time when defending a big lead. Second change for the Jules now, Jordan Graham. has been replaced by Alex McDonald's for the final few minutes of this game. 89 minutes, 41 seconds on the clock. Ball's gone up again. This time it's for five minutes injury time at the end of second period. And then it's gone up again. Third change for the Jules now. Uh, Ollie Lee, uh, two goals and assists tonight. He's just come off. Stuart O'Keefe's going to get the five minutes of injury time as Croup at half chance wide. Into injury time now, still 4-1. Wouldn't be a Jules game without Conor Ogilvie being absolutely cleaned out. Uh, Johnson, the fullback for Cruz, just taking a yellow card. Ogilvie shielding the ball on his own goal line, gets it out of his feet, clears it. Johnson's really late, takes Conor out. Three minutes, 20 seconds of the five have elapsed. The Jules are pretty much there, still 4-1 up. Full time at the priest field. It's finished Gillingham 4, Crew Alexander 1. Jules emphatically winning this one tonight. Not one I saw coming, I won't lie. I predicted a draw in my pre-match uh, video on Monday. But 4-1 win. Thoroughly deserved, like I mentioned at half-time. Second half didn't quite hit the heights of the first period. It was never going to. But Jules, on the whole, managed the game pretty well. Scored a good fourth. Ollie Lee at the double. Um, the only frustration was the uh, concession of a goal late on, which denied us a well-earned clean sheet. But um, three defeats on the spin at the start of the year has now been replaced by seven points from nine. So it's a really good response from the Jules. New signings making an impact. Robbie Cundy tonight, really good. Ollie Lee scored two. Um, Callum Slattery, another composed performance in the middle of the park. And uh, Tyreek Johnson, the only one he didn't get on tonight. But I'm sure we'll see more from him as the games go on. Uh, right, that is enough from me this evening. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thanks for watching as always. Please keep liking, subscribing, retweeting, sharing, doing all that you do. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Now only 27 subscribers away from 1,500. So if you can keep shouting us out, getting people to subscribe to the channel, it'll be greatly appreciated. Till next time, up the jewels. Jump.